Hi, welcome to the Game Splainer. I'm Jeff the Game Splainer, and today I'm Game Splaining Cerebria. Cerebria is a 1 to 4 player game. Uh, the Kickstarter version is actually a 1 to 6 player game by Mind Clash Games. So that's the same guys that brought us Anachrony. And look, I'm. I'm in two minds about this game. I'm in two definite, distinct, separate minds about this. I think this is good, a good game. I want it to be a good game. I find that in playing it, it feels a heck of a lot simpler than the rules explain it to be. Now, having said that, I haven't played with the full version of the game. I've only played the introductory version. Um, so I'm assuming the full version will actually open that up a little bit and help. But, and this is a big but, I find that the Mind Clash games, I am still not sure if they are heavy for the purpose of being heavy or heavy because they need to be heavy. So when I did Anachrony, I really loved that and I still really like it. I, I desperately want to really like this game. I fear that the thing that's holding me back from really loving it is the heaviness of it. But a heaviness that is not necessary because when you actually look at it and get into the play of it it actually doesn't feel anywhere near as heavy as reading the rules and all the other stuff it suggests this is this is one of those quandary question mark games for me i i i fear and this is a fear it's not a fact it's a fear i fear that mind clash are just going heavy for the sake of heavy without really narrowing down what they're doing without kind of focusing in where they're laying their their, 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 their their rule sets their rule sets are really thick but when you play the game you kind of go oh I get it there's so much potentially going on like I mean the, if you actually look at the rules there are five things you can do on the main board five things you can do on your own board that's ten things total when you play an introductory game, you're only doing four main things on your own board and five on the main board, and that that's fine. I, I don't know. I don't know exactly how to bring it into something more manageable. But within the explanation, it takes a heck of a lot of time. If you actually look at my videos, you'll notice that I've done three videos of explanation. So the first two explanation videos are covering the the five main board pieces and the main play of the game and then the second one is the um, is the four main things on your own board and then the third video is the extra stuff that goes in to make the extra game the full game if you will. I'm, I'm, I'm so caught with this game. Um, it, it, there's, there's so much going on, there's so much detail and I'm sure that it's one of those games that if you get into it and, and you're playing a lot you'll find that that detail is actually a really worthwhile thing but in the current climate, in my climate, in the I'm just getting everything new that comes out and I want to play it in a couple of times and get a feel for it and then I'll move on to the next thing and I'll probably forget that I own that. In that current climate, this is not necessarily the right game. If it was a matter of, I buy a game and I'm going to sit on this game for months on end and just play it and play it and play it, then this might well be a really good game to get. Now, I'm not saying don't get this game. I do think that this is a good game. I do think that Mind Clash do good games. I just fear that they go heavy for the sake of heavy. I fear that they haven't focused in their rule sets and to make the game still playable within the the worlds that they're creating, but a more manageable playable. Um, that that's my gut instinct on that's the instinct of the people who have played it. The the, the 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 play that I had with other gamers, uh, I found that the it, it happened relatively quickly. The the turns it takes ages because you, 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 there's a lot of thinking going on. You've got three goes or three things you can do on a turn, and within those three things, you choose between the five and the four or the five on your main board and, the, and then your own board, and and there's. It, it feels like there's, I'm just sitting waiting and then, oh, that person's finally finished. No, we've got to wait for the next person, next person, next person. So it, it plays as a two, pl a two team game, I guess, but it's for your own personal turn, it takes a long time to get there. I haven't played the six player version. I fear and I hope that the six player version is just a Kickstarter exclusive, so I'm not missing out with that. But I also fear that going to that six-player version of the game is going to just uh, be 
a heck of a long time for not really much extra other than just getting extra people involved. And this is something that publishers really need to watch out for when they're picking the size, the size of the game, how many players their game goes up to. Those that go up to the four player mark, um, which is that end of the of the shelves, the that they've thought through and gone, oh, this will work with four players. It might work with five, but you're going to be sitting there an awfully long time. Sitting there, the four players is kind of that's that's the, that's the that's the mark, that's the line in the sand. Those who have gone to the five players, so this shell, level of shells behind me, um, I haven't played very many of these games with the full complement, but I think in the playing of them that the game itself is more simple than those games, simply because I'm able to take my turn and the next person take their turn and I'm not sitting there for an awfully long amount of time waiting for my turn to come back around. When we get up to the six and more player games, suddenly it becomes easier or everyone's doing stuff at the same time. Either of those things, that helps. This one going up to the six players, I don't think that it's a worthwhile thing to do because you're going to be sitting there an awful long time not doing anything. And as soon as your mind switches off from a game, it's really hard to get, then get back into it. When, you're, when you have to go through that process, every time it comes back to your turn, it suddenly slows the game down more. I want this desperately to be a really good game. And I, I, I think it will live on my shelf for a while. I don't think it's going to get played that much. I, you can see the pain that I've got going on with Cerebria. That, and, uh, I, I think playing two player will be fine. Um, but then it's remembering which of the minis or little things on the board you're actually manipulating through, which one you're controlling at any particular time because it's just a matter of shifting between them. There are rules to play for three or two players without having to do two characters. I, once again, I don't know if that's really necessarily the right way to go. I think that playing it as a four-player game, this is where this game lives, this is where this game should live. And anytime you're playing with less than that, you'd need to try and play it as if it is a four-player game. Now, having said all of that, the really good thing that goes on with this game is when you're in a four-player game, the two who are on each, on the same team can communicate with each other. You can talk, you can show, hey, I've got this card, I want to get this one down, so if you do that, that will enable me to do this. You can have those conversations within your team, and that will help. Um, the amount at which that talk goes across the table and they hear what's going on, eh, that's up to how loud your voice is, I guess, or if they're in a, a talk like that, probably take that moment. Little things like that I actually really like. Um, I really like the idea of this game. I like that this is a unique game. And this is what I find comes out of Mind Clash, is they come out with unique games, with unique worlds, with just, they're different to every other game that I've got on my shelves. And I really, I really appreciate that. And that's, that's a really good thing. So look, the overall, this is actually a good game. I fear that Mind Clash, and this is a note to Mind Clash, please, 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 in future games, if you have a way to lighten up the game, please do it. If there's a way to lighten up what's happening within those rules so you don't have to have so much stuff sitting inside your head, please do it. Don't just go heavy for the sake of heavy. Only go heavy for the sake of this game needs to be within that heaviness weight. And look, that's a really open-ended, uh, It's this game is this weight. And that comes down to the player more than anything else. I'm talking about the BGG heaviness rating at the moment, if you haven't caught on to that. The, it comes down to the player specific saying, this is a this weight game. It's not down to the publisher saying, hey, I'm gonna put out a this weight game. What that feels like with my clash is it's putting out a game that is saying this game is going to be really heavy, deal with it. But I don't know if this one necessarily needs to be as heavy as it actually is. If you have Cerebria or if you're thinking about getting Cerebria, please go on and watch my videos to get a really good feel for how the game mashes together. Go on and watch the games play so you can get a feel for it. I've, I've had one turn from each of the four players in the games play and that's got us through enough information for you to actually understand what's happening with this game. If you have any comments or suggestions, please write them below. If you have any games that you'd like to be games playing, please shoot me an email at thegamesplayer at gmail.com. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at thegamesplayer to keep up to date with the games that I'm playing. Subscribe to my videos to keep up to date with the games that I'm games playing. And until next time, enjoy gaming.